Good morning everybody and this is your Forex day trade setup for today. So uh, starting off with Euro USD and um, we have broken this flag to the downside. Now there's a very low probability that that continues uh, just so we're clear on that. So when you have a flag break in the opposite direction uh, there's a greater chance of it coming back up and breaking the flag to the upside than there is to the downside. Okay, so that's the one scenario. And I've left, I left all the structure in that we had uh, drawn in yesterday, just for a reason. But that's the one scenario that we have at the moment. Now, I don't really trust diagonals at all. So uh, normally, when you see this on a a five or a fifteen minute chart, you can pretty much guarantee that. Uh, now you'll have the, the trade set up correctly. But when we're on the higher time frames like this, um, this diagonal line is not necessarily what I want to trust. So because what we could be doing is just doing something like that. And then this one, something like that. Okay, so this is a channel. I think just look at it as a channel at the moment. Let's not look at it as a flag or anything else like that. It is a channel. It's a bear channel. We've got a major crossover of our moving averages and we have some structure here. So I'm just going to delete that. So let's just get down to the hour and uh, see what's going on. So we had a pretty strong bear day yesterday. Um, day before was a bit of consolidation and then we broke through the consolidation and we're pretty close to the next target, uh, 119.481. So we didn't really get a retest of this area. So it didn't, no, for me anyway, it didn't give me an entry at all. Uh, when you look at it in hindsight, you can always say, well, that was an entry, but we were at bottom of range. If you remember when we did the video, we were kind of coming to the bottom of the range. So you'd be looking for a buying opportunity to the back to the top of the range again, looking on the history, and that didn't materialize. You got this solid close below there. But anyway, um, I don't think I'm interested in any longs on this at the moment, looking for shorts, but I want to see pullbacks and we're too close to a level here. So if we can get some pullbacks, possibly back to that area there of 119.822, I'd be looking at that for an opportunity. But what we could have is a nice move down consolidate and then another leg down. Remember we've got the jobs number, or sorry, the payroll, non farm payrolls number today. Job number was pretty good yesterday. So that uh, is what helped the dollar strengthen as well. So yeah, I think for me, this is still, unless we get a decent pullback, it's, uh, it's still on hand. So I need a decent pullback for an opportunity to sell into this. So that's what we're waiting for. Um, on the US dollar, Japanese yen, obviously the converse will be true. Uh, we're at a fairly significant level if you look to the left. Okay, look at all this structure here. Don't really want to be long there. I would expect a pullback and that's what I want to wait for. If the pullback doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. So it's not a, a major train smash. But you can see we've already got one bar rejection. Uh, I would expect to see something back to the 105, 250 area and even as low as somewhere in this zone here. Uh, 105, 124. So pull back into this area would get me long again. I'm not interested in being long up here. Okay, so that's kind of the, the plan there. Uh, British pound, Japanese yen. We had a wedge and we've had the wedge break, pretty strong wedge break to the upside. I think the measured move is pretty close or done. Let's just double check that. No, we still got a little way to go. But it's close. It's, it's close enough in my book anyway. You can see there. Okay, so um, very, very strong bar this that we had. Wasn't looking like that uh, when we did the video yesterday. Remember we did the video around here. And then obviously we had some news come out in the UK and massive gain. And now we are sort of consolidating. So I would expect more gains, but uh, obviously I want to see pullbacks onto structure. So in this scenario, based on the size of the bars we've got here, this is the first level I'd be paying attention to, which is 144.227. And um, we could come back further, obviously, sort of down to 144, 144, 
would be probably a logical choice. Um, but we still have this measured move to the upside of 144.623. So um, yeah, so this is still this is looking like longs again. Uh, just shows you how things can change and how quickly things can change. But uh, definitely looking to buy into this, waiting for the pullbacks and then uh, look for the structure and we'll buy in on this. Stops on this is going to be an issue because this is your stop area and that is m massively far away at the moment. So um, this fractal here, depending on the open, may offer an alternative stop area. So I would be watching to see what transpires at the open. I would expect a second move to the upside. I just want to see the daily. You can see a whole what's that one two three four days of consolidation and then a breakup could also be an exhaustion bar so you would expect some kind of a pullback before trying to buy into that but that is um, fairly significant at the moment okay uh, next one is Aussie dollar US dollar and obviously we are trending lower we've got a crossover here 155 EMA is holding us up at the moment uh, oscillators are crossing over fairly far apart which is an indication I should be looking for opportunities to the downside, uh, which is exactly what we're looking for, but not from where we are now. So we want a, we want structure, we want a pullback, and I'm just going to use these levels here. Um, so this is the first area we did test it going into the close at 076083, but that's the level I'm looking at at the moment. And obviously we can go higher as well. So bear in mind yesterday it was looking like we were going to get a reversal, get a crossover, move to the upside. We did come back and test the moving average, but the key thing here is these moving averages stayed right above blue. So the 33 EMA stayed above the 66 EMA um, all the way through yesterday. So there was no reason to be looking for longs. Okay. Um, and again, your hindsight is the perfect science. I first admit I was looking at a potential trend change, but uh, you know, lesson learned. Uh, whenever you see a potential trend change, wait for the confirmation. This looked like confirmation. However, we didn't have a crossover. Okay, so we were still bearish. We were still bearish with the moving averages. So keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, that's where patience comes in and you don't jump in on a position because then you, know, you look at it afterwards and you realize why you did, why you got taken out because you weren't paying attention to the rules. Okay, so when the moving averages are, are pointing down, when the 155 is above the 66, which is above the 33, that is a bear trend. Okay, anyway, uh, so we're looking to sell, but we don't want to sell down here. We want to sell higher up. So we're looking for... 076083 I think is the most logical choice and just draw a second level in and I'm picking up these three lows here because uh, 076149 because that could be another area your stop is above this pin bar here uh, which is at 076293 uh, Euro British pound obviously the British pound had a fairly good move so again had a bit of a wedge forming it was looking like a, a potential trend change but again you know lesson learned and this is something that uh, we all I mean myself included uh, keep having to remind myself because uh, one of our Im human emotions which is greed often takes place so uh, and you see something like that and you think oh I'm gonna get in at the bottom of this and I'm gonna it's gonna go to the moon I'm gonna make so much money and it goes against you so yeah always wait for the confirmation and this is another one where it this one did actually cross over and it was looking good i still said to you yesterday this is looking really good looking like a potential trend change and then you get one bit of news boom and down we go so again this is the same looking for pullbacks uh, first pullback would be 087738 and uh, a deeper pullback would be all the way back up here at 087944 so yeah, this is short, it's gonna continue short, stay short for me at the moment. So we're just waiting for pullbacks and then we're looking to get in on this. Okay, it depends what happens today. This uh, fractal here could also be a, a stop area. So it could be a break below the lows of yesterday and then come and retest and then continue down. So that's another thing to, to watch out for. And uh, British pound, New Zealand dollar is gonna be pretty much the same thing. So remember we were been looking at this uh, 191663 area for a pretty big inverse head and shoulders and uh, yes it had basically given up hope on that 
and again one bit of noise and up we go so this is above and below the moving averages we're range bound it, we shouldn't actually be looking for opportunities here until the break so um, that is still the plan so it's 191663 to the upside which i think is what's going to happen and uh, 189265 to the downside those are your two levels top and bottom so what we're looking for or what i'm looking for at the moment is this yeah 191663 i want to break and a retest of that area and that's going to give me the confirmation long we could get some pullback onto structure and i'm deliberately going below the structure here because it lines up with the 150 or 155 so i'm looking for a pullback here that's somewhere something that i would look at as well which is 19481 now give me a decent pullback into this area i'll be looking for long but it's going to be a short-lived long it's going to be to 191663 until we break that through 191663 i want to break in a retest of that area that gives me a confirmation for the longer term longs anyway um that's uh forex market today bear in mind we do have noise coming out uh later this afternoon so non-farm payroll so us pairs will be pretty volatile this afternoon and um I don't think there's anything else coming out that I'm aware of. But uh, whatever you do, just stay safe. Keep those stops really tight. And um, remember to buy off support and sell off resistance. And keep Stick to that plan and you will be profitable. Anyway, hope it helps and we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.